time for poetry again. Today's poetry, Diamante. Sounds like diamond. Not, nah, but it's shaped like a diamond, which is part of why we call it Diamante. Diamante poetry. It's kind of like a diamond. The shape is where it gets its name. So how to write a Diamante poem. What a Diamante poem is, is you take two things that are opposite each other and you're gonna work from the top and the bottom towards the middle. Sounds kind of weird, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So for example, um, and I'm gonna kind of write down two things at the same time while we're doing this. I'm gonna do an example and then in another color, uh, I'm gonna use orange, in another color, I'm gonna write you the, um, the rules for how you do this. So that way you'll see an example and you'll also see the rules of how a Diamante works. So the first thing that you do is you take two nouns that are opposite each other. So I'm not gonna use the ones that are on here. Oh, this isn't the paper that I wanted. This is the paper I wanted, pardon me. This one's a little clearer, so I'm gonna use this one. Um, there are some examples you can look at, but I'm gonna give you my example. This one is much clearer to me. So the two examples I'm gonna use are love and hate, okay, because they're opposite each other. So I'm gonna start with love. So the first thing you're gonna start with, the first thing you're gonna start with is a noun. So you're gonna choose a noun. You're gonna choose a noun. The noun I chose was love. Now, the opposite of that is gonna be hate. So my last line, line seven, is going to be hate. So I'm gonna start with my noun, and then I need to think of two adjectives that describe my noun. So I'm gonna come up with two adjectives. So I'm gonna write that here. Two ADJ adjectives that describe my first, my first noun, okay? So I need two adjectives. So I'm gonna use kind, love is kind, and I'm gonna say love is happy. Okay, those are the two adjectives that I choose to describe love. Now you can pick whatever ones you want, but those are what I'm gonna choose. So we have love, kind, happy. Now my next line is going to have three words. Um, so it's gonna have three verbs, and they're gonna end in ing, okay? Three verbs that end in ing. So I'm gonna start it out here a little bit. With these, it's gonna make it a little less diamondy shaped, but I'll show you how it looks at the end. So three ing words describing love. So I'm gonna put caring, because love is caring. Love is sharing. And I think love is hugging. I always think of hugging. I miss hugging people. I do. I like hugging. Okay. Um, then you are going to come up with four nouns. Now this is where you're gonna start turning over from your first word to your second word. So you're gonna come up with four nouns on this line. Four nouns. Two are going to refer to your first word and two are gonna to refer to your last word. Okay, so the four nouns across. So my first two nouns are gonna to refer to love. So I'm gonna say friend and smile. So my first two refer to love. Now I'm gonna flip and my last two are gonna refer to hate, which is gonna be my last word. So I'm gonna put enemy and scowl. Okay, because they're kind of opposite of the two that I picked. So I had friend and smile, enemy and scowl. So now I'm talking about hate. 
So now I'm going to think of my next words are going to be about hate, but it's going to be the same. And now we're going to kind of flip and do the opposite. So we're going to have three verbs again, three verbs that end in ing. That's going to be this line right here. Three verbs that end in ing. And I'm going to use teasing. Mocking, what was my last one that I came up with? Hurting. Okay, so those are my three ing words to describe hate. So they're my verbs having to do with hate. So then my next line is going to be two adjectives again. And I'm just going to write them down here. Two adjectives having to do with hate. So I'm going to put sad. It makes me sad when people hate each other. And it also, I feel like when, if you hate someone, you feel kind of empty inside. And it leaves you feeling empty. Whereas love feels happy and like full inside, hate makes you feel kind of empty and sad. And then my last word is going to be hate. So that's how this poem, the Diamante poem, is set up. So I'm going to put this down here. Noun. This is the noun that's opposite of the first noun. Okay, so that's how your poem is set up. So I'm going to do one more example for you before you do your own. So I'm going to move this to the side and kind of rearrange a little bit. fall down. All right, so I'm going to move this over here, and then I'm going to take this. You know, that's pretty impressive. That's my first true technical difficulty with these things since I started. Okay, so now I'm going to do one, and I'm going to try to do this one. I prepped the other one. This one's off the top of my head. You know how that goes, people. Could be interesting. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. So I need a noun to start with. I need opposite nouns. So I'm going to do summer and winter. They're opposites, right? Opposite seasons. So I'm going to start with summer. Okay. And how does summer make, like, I'm going to think of two adjectives. So I'm going to say summer. Sunny and warm. These are my two adjectives to describe summer. Um, three verbs ending in ing. So things I do during the summer. I'm going to say swimming. Um, during the summer, swimming. Hiking and relaxing. Those are my three things I do during the summer. Then I need four nouns. So I need two nouns to go with summer. So I'm going to say beach. And I'm going to say... Mm, Down. Beach in. This one, I need you people yelling out answers for me because my brain is blank. So I'm going to say beach, summer, beach, summer, vacation. Okay, now I'm going to flip over to winter. So nouns that have to do with winter, I'm going to say snow and Christmas, That's my favorite part of winter. Okay, snow and Christmas. Now I need ing words having to do with winter. So I'm going to say um, freezing. <laughs> freezing. Um, schooling. I don't know if 
that's an ing word, but I just made it up. Freezing, schooling, and what else do we do during winter? Oh, shoveling. I mean, you could have put skiing, you could have put fun things. Skiing, sledding, these are just what I think of during winter. Um, two adjectives describing winter. I would say cold and dark, because that's how I feel about winter. And then my last word is winter. Now, if you're a Mason and you wrote this, your all your winter words would have been awesome because you love winter. Winter is not my favorite. So I think of freezing and shoveling and he would have skiing and sledding and those kinds of things. This is how I look at it. So this is mine. Summer, sunny, warm. Swimming, hiking, relaxing. Beach, vacation. Snow and Christmas. Freezing, schooling, shoveling. Cold, dark, winter. So that's my Diamante poem. So you are now going to write your own Diamante poem. So the first thing that you need to do is think of two opposite words. Now, I'm giving you the option to write two poems. The first one is your choice. So you choose the opposite words. Then I want you to try to write one where your opposite words are Jesus at the top and Satan at the bottom and see how you come up with words. So come up with two adjectives to describe Jesus, two adjectives to describe Satan, three ing verbs having to do with Jesus, three having to do with Satan, and then the nouns in the middle. And try that, that gives you some place to start from. Okay, so Jesus and Satan, I want you to try one like that, and then I want you to do one of your own. Pick any opposite words you want. Okay, it could be dog and cat, could be seasons, could be feelings, could be anything that you want to go from one to the other. I've seen war and peace. I've seen two different countries. I've seen um, happy and sad. Let me see. Is there another one on here that somebody did one that was tears and smile? You'll see some different ones. So just try to come up with two opposite words, and then you're going to follow these rules. A noun, two adjectives three ing words, then four nouns, and then backwards again. And I'll write these out for you and put these on there for you to be able to see as well. Remember, have any questions, text, call, email, or please, 11 to 12, I'm on Zoom every day. Jump on and ask me a question. I'd be happy to help you. Bye.